Wait, that's not seven segments though, it's eight. If we draw it out, boom, 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 boom. That's one, two, three, four, five. XQC reacts to forcing raging at Dono for distracting him. Advice, motivation, depression. I am here. Force it. Force it. Force it. Ah! Ah! I got <laughs> you, Pete! <laughs> 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 He put us on a f***ing hole with that? How? Why? He just leads worse than XQC. It's not even close. Shut up! I can't hear you, Pete! What do you mean you can't hear them? You can see them. You can f***ing see them. Um... Segmented displays. A segmented display is an area with shaped elements that can turn on or off independently, which allows it to display- I've been watching him recently, has he gotten close? Not nowhere, nowhere close. A various shapes. The most common one is the seven segment display, which started to appear in the 70s to display numbers and is still all around us today. More than you may realize. The seven segment design has actually been invented several times by different people. Wait, that's not seven segments though, it's eight. If we draw it out, boom, 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 boom. That's one, two, three, four, five. It's like the invention of the wheel, the most logical solution to a problem. The earliest known document is Don't this patent me, from okay? Carl Kingsley, Don't filed me, in 1903. It's one of several patents of the era that used segments to increase telegraph speeds. The patent focuses on the mechanics. The segmented design is hardly mentioned. Gappy can't count. I got knows, a 36 on my ACT, someone you guys, it all right? Before digits I'll have you know I have a 4,500 in Big Brain Academy and a brain age of 20. Existed by dropping some sticks, for example. Let's call this design the double square. I mean, the double, it is square double square is not truly capable of displaying numbers exactly right. In fact, there are compromises all over the place. But most people are so used to it that it looks normal. Today, it's sometimes used for aesthetic reasons, while it was invented for technical limitations. As it's built from seven straight lines that can even be of equal Harvard length, needs to do it's something. suitable I don't for even Harvard, the most okay, rudimentary guys? device. Let me but turn in the most down a cases, bit. the segments could have a shape and thus be designed. For example, by chopping the corners. And often the divisions are not symmetrical to optimize the look of numbers. Ew, ew, what are these cuts? They're off, I don't like this. Which gets more important when increasing the segment's thickness. Nah, nah. Very thick segments we find mostly on reflective LCDs. Like Can you make this guy sound like Swedish? No, blame Europe. A and third forcing. common tweak is rounding the corners, which makes it look less 80s. A problem with thicker segments is that the gap between the vertical lines increases. You could, of course, close the gap, but at the cost of the look of other numbers. Ew! This is, go back to the normal one. I Closing like the normal the one. the gap is usually done on both sides. Hashtag close the gap, name drop. However, this by far is the most common design. Shearing the font, making it italic, is also almost always done. And Why in many designs, the top half is a bit shorter. The space between the segments is a technical limitation and of big influence on the final loop. They're like eight videos, take your pick, okay. But designing doesn't stop here. In this design, I moved the left two cuts away from the corners. 
and I also rounded the inside. I named this design Sport. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I got a little bit bored. I'm getting bored, I'm sorry. We did. I wanna see how we get to this now, what the f uh, Excuse me, what the f <laughs> Boy, huh? No, Wait, never mind. How the f do we get to that designs part? Designs are meant to be seen on a tiny display, like this watch. Feeling oh. this on a big screen might be a bit bewildering. However, I do encourage you to watch this on a big screen. In okay, never mind. What type of videos do you like to watch? Sometimes I'm into video essays and shit. I just don't think this is a good video essay topic. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I just don't think it's a good video essay topic. This guy has a really good. This guy's really good production is uh production design and production value though. It's really fucking wicked.